Hello everyone. In this video, you find all the possible solutions to this problem. We have 8 to the power x minus 2 to the power x, all divided by 6 to the power x minus 3 to the power x, and the whole thing is equal to 2. But before we begin, if you are new here, please consider subscribe and also like this video. Now let's get started. So here I'll write this 8 to the power x as 2 to the power 3 or x minus this 2 to the power x or divided by then this 6 to the power x I'll write it as 2 times 3 all to the power x minus this 3 to the power x and this is equal to 2. So I will simplify this. We have 2 to the power 3x minus 2 to the power x all divided by 2 to the power x times 3 to the power x minus 3 to the power x and this is equal to 2. Alright, so here I can factor 2 to the power x out over here. So we have 2 to the power x into 2 to the power 2x minus 1 all divided by then here I can factor 3 to the power x out. So we have 3 to the power x into 2 to the power x minus 1 and this is equal to 2. Now I can write this as 2 to the power x into 2 to the power x all squared minus 1 divided by 3 to the power x into 2 to the power x minus 1 and this is equal to 2. Alright. So here, this is the same as difference of two squares. This is to the power 2, but since it is 1, you can choose not to write. So we have 2 to the power x times 2 to the power x plus 1, then 2 to the power x minus 1, all divided by 3 to the power x into 2 to the power x minus 1, and the whole thing is equal to 2. Alright, so here, as you can see, we have 2 to the power x minus 1 over here, and then 2 to the power x minus 1. So this means that this one can cancel this with one condition, and the condition is x is never equal to 0. Guess what? If x is equal to 0, then this means this left-hand side is indeterminate, right? So the condition whose? Alright, so here... We have 2 to the power x into 2 to the power x plus 1 all divided by 3 to the power x and this is equal to 2. Alright, so from here I'll cross multiply. So we have 2 to the power x into 2 to the power x plus 1 and this is equal to 2 times 3 to the power x. Now let's divide each side by 2. So we have 2 to the power x minus 1 into 2 to the power x plus 1 and this is equal to 3 to the power x. Alright, so now we are going to assume that x is equal to 1. So if x is equal to 1, then we have 2 to the power 1 minus 1 into 2 to the power 1 plus 1 is equal to 3 to the power 1. 2 to the power 1 minus 1 is 2 to the power 0, and 2 to the power 0 is 1 into 2 to the power 1 is 1 plus 1 is 3, and this is equal to 3. Alright, so we have 3 is equal to 3. Since the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, it means that x is equal to 1 is one of the solutions to this problem. Now let's consider another condition when x is greater than or equal to 2. So now here we will assume that x is equal to 2. So if x is equal to 2, we have 2 to the power 2 minus 1 into 2 to the power 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 to the power 2. Alright, so 2 to the power 2 minus 1 is 2 to the power 1 and it is equal to 2. Then 2 to the power 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5 is equal to 3 to the power 2 is 9. Alright, so we have 10 is equal to 9. 
and there's no way 10 is equal to 9. So it means that x greater than or equal to 2 is never a solution to this problem. Now let's come to this equation. The left hand side is always an even number provided x is greater than or equal to 2. So if x is greater than or equal to 2, the left hand side will always be an even number and then the right hand side will always be an odd number and there is no way even number is equal to an odd number. So this means that x greater than or equal to 2 can never be a solution. Now let's consider another condition that when x is less than or equal to negative 1. So here when x is less than or equal to negative 1, we will assume that x is equal to negative 1. So plugging x is equal to negative 1 into the equation, we have 2 to the power negative 1 minus 1 into 2 to the power negative 1 plus 1 is equal to 3 to the power negative 1. And this is 1 over 2 to the power 2 into 1 on 2 plus 1 is equal to 1 on 3. Alright, so here we have 1 on 4 into 1 half plus 1 is 3 on 2 and this is equal to 1 on 3. So here let's simplify this. 1 times 3 is 3, then 4 times 2 is 8 and this is equal to 1 on 3. And guys, 3 on 8 is never equal to 1 on 3. So the only solution to this problem is x is equal to 1. Guys, I hope you found this video useful. Please consider subscribe and also like this video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.